Hi, today is date 6th of April 2020. So in this video, we are going to talk about how do you calculate the dividend yield of the shopping REITs listed in the Singapore markets going forward. Last Saturday, last Friday, right, we know that there will be a circuit breaker. It means a lot of shopping centers will not be able to operate as per normal. So there will be financial hits to the shopping REITs. So what we want to do is, if you believe that this is a very good opportunity to load up REITs, what kind of dividends are you expecting? Okay. Are you expecting now? Are you expecting uh, in the future, even the share price today? So in today's video, let us look at it. The shopping REITs that I have um, shortlisted is Capital More Trust. Okay, Capital More Trust. But let me just highlight this particular news for you. Okay, SPH REITs has already uh, cut the first dividend, okay, 78.7%. Okay, cut 78.7% in their DPU, right? So the six shopping REITs will definitely follow the footsteps because all the businesses are affected. So let us take a look at Capital More. Okay, Capital More Trust, this is the... 2015, 16, 17 to 2019 dividend uh, distribution per unit. So we are looking at 9.9 .9 cents of based on last year, 2019. So this is my Excel spreadsheet. So 2019, you have got 9.9 .9 cents. Okay, you ignore column C for now. Okay, the yield based on the current share price, 1.54. Now, how do I get 1.54? This is the current share price that is trading as we speak, okay? This is the today's candle. Today's candle, so it's 1.53 now. Just now earlier on was 1.54. So, in, in fact, it dropped a bit. So, uh, let me go ahead and adjust and show you the real stock price, 1.53. Okay, I've got all the formula of punch in. Right, so 1.53 is based on last year's uh, collected dividends of 9.9 .9 cent per share. You're looking at a dividend yield of 6.5%. Okay, so you may think that, well, 6.5%, not bad. Okay, you want to invest in these shopping rates. But let me, <clears throat> let me highlight to you, this is last year. Last year, there is no circuit breaker, there's no lockdown. Shopping still... Uh, carry on with no interruption to the business but you're looking at a very massive and big disruption to the business of this uh, shopping mall so to expect your yield to be 6.5 percent when you buy today is the wrong way to do it okay so what's the what is the more uh likely dividend yield how do you calculate it in 2020 so this is how i use a very simple uh, method which i think a lot of you will be able to understand is this is last year's uh, 9.9 .9 cents so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take 25 percent of this dividend uh, distributed last year so i end up getting 7.4 cents now why 25 percent okay this 25 percent is uh number based on your own uh, analysis so what i'm doing is i'm taking away uh, three months worth of dividends okay no three months worth of dividends uh, in fact it's three months worth of dividends which means that if the current crisis continues for another three months and affect one full quarter that means i'm discounting one full quarter without dividends okay so this will be the distribution of the dividend 7.4 it could be more, yeah. It could be fifty percent or sixty percent, depending on how long this crisis stretched. But if you were to take China as an example, China took about two months of complete uh, shutdown to slowly recover. We won't say that it's hundred percent recover because eighth of April is the date that they will they are going to uh, open up Wuhan city, <coughs> the epicenter of the whole crisis. So if they open up. <coughs> I'm sorry, if they open up the Wuhan city, it means that they have got confidence. But we need to be careful of the second wave of uh, infection, okay, which happened during the Spanish flu back in the 19th century. Okay, so this is the history background on why I'm getting a 25% cut of last year, three months. Okay, so this three months, 25% of last year's uh, 9.9 .9 cents, you get 7.4 cents, right? And then what is the yield that you are expecting to get? Okay, so let's say I'm aiming for 8% yield. That means 
every dollar I put into the stock market, I want to get eight cents back. So if I put 10,000 into the stock market, into this stock capital more trust, I expect to get 800 sing dollars. Okay, this is the simple of looking at it. So if based on 8% yield, I'm, 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 I'm accepting an 8% yield, therefore the share price I'm looking at is using uh, this dividend divided by my yield, and this is the share price. Okay, 92 cents. Now it's doing 1.53. 1.53, okay, if you use 1.53 to buy uh, Capital More Trust now, today, Okay, based on my discounted DPU, you are only getting a 4.9% yield. Okay, 4.9% yield. Okay, but what if, let's say 2021, everything fully recovered, okay, you are getting 6.5% if based on 2019's uh, DPU. Okay, but what is more exciting is if you buy at 29, I'm sorry, if you buy at 92 cents, the share okay let us calculate how much you are you looking at if things go back to normal 10.6 percent okay you are looking at 10.6 percent 10.7 percent okay let me repeat that again now if today you are able to buy capital more trust at 92 cents which means that based on the discounted 25 percent of Last year's DPU, you are looking at a yield of 8%, which means three months of dividends gone. Okay, you're only getting nine months. Okay, your yield is 8% if you wait for the share price at 92 cents. Okay, and when things fully recovered, okay, we expect things to be fully recovered 2021, 2022. If everything go back to normal, you are looking at a 9.9 .9, uh, cents kind of DPU, your yield because you bought at 92 cents will be 10.7%. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me, hey, when is the best price to buy the REES and so on? So I say, hey, take a look at the discounted model. Okay, you need to discount the yield last year. Okay, so this is the number that you need to play around with. Let's say I am looking at 50%. Okay, 50% for me to get 8% yield, the share price needs to be 61 cents. Okay, 61 cents. So I hope this short video gives you a very good idea on how do you calculate your dividend yield when you buy these shopping uh, REITs. Okay, shopping REITs. You still have got uh, uh, Maple Tree, Commercial, you can do the same thing. SPH REITs already cut. So you see SPH, when they cut, they didn't cut the whole... Uh, whole quarter, you know, they didn't cut the whole quarter, they didn't cut 78.7%. So my 25% is actually very conservative already. Okay, so if you have got any questions, feel free to uh, leave a message at our Facebook. Let me show you where is our Facebook page. We can have a discussion over there. Just give me one moment to pull out my Facebook, uh, Chart Nexus Facebook page. There you go. Okay, you can leave a message at our Facebook page or you can go to our YouTube channel <coughs> where this video will be hosted and then we can have a discussion over there. Okay, this is our Facebook, uh, this is our YouTube channel and then we also have our Facebook page. So feel free to leave a comment under the video so that uh, we can have, uh, you know, I can answer some of your questions if you have any on, on the different uh, shopping weeks. Right, thank you very much. I will see you at the next video.